thought I was done talking about this goddamn show. Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Payne and welcome back to another video. Uh, this video is different from uh, obviously any of, the other, any of the other videos that I've made. I've wanted to go towards this direction for a while instead of just making a review of a show or a movie, which I will get back to eventually. I just want to make a video of current events right now in the anime community. But the problem was that I couldn't really think of anything to talk about or I couldn't find anything to talk about that I was really good at explaining. But uh, that was until about a few days ago. For anyone who doesn't know, on November 26, Netflix announced that on their Twitter and YouTube channel that there will be uh, they'll, that they've announced that they're going to be having a worldwide premiere in the spring of 2019 of one of, if not the most influential anime of all time, Neon Genesis Evangelion, and the two movies that came out after the series was made, uh, Death and Rebirth, and arguably one of my favorite movies of all time, The End of Evangelion. And while I was making the script, it was also announced that there was going to be a live-action Cowboy Bebop series, which I was kind of iffy about until I realized what information was released when the show came out. I'm, I'm going to start talking about this. I'm going to talk a lot about Ava, but I, I just want to get this out of the way because I know that is also a hot topic as well. First off, just like everyone else who has uh, done their research, I've been actually waiting for this since June of last year. That is when they announced that they were going to be making a Cowboy Bebop live-action series and that uh, the studio that made the anime, Sunrise, is going to help make it. Now, uh, now that it is announced that Netflix will have the streaming rights to that, but now that we know more information about it, I actually kind of have a little hope for this series. Uh, not only because the studio is helping out with it, uh, it was announced that the creator of Cowboy Bebop, Shinichiro Watanabe, will help out as well. Uh, the director of the series will be Christopher Yost, and for anyone who does not know who he is, he is the director of Thor Ragnarok. Uh, I do believe that uh, in a certain section of cinema or film, such as anime, live action, TV series, and movies, uh, just like video game movies and live action versions of anything animated, it is not really well received. I mean, you start off in 2010 with Dragon Ball Evolution easily offending every Dragon Ball fan, and then you have Death Note, which offended every Death Note fan, and then you even have some anime live action movies that were made in Japan uh, that bombed, such as Full Metal Alchemist, a live action movie that came out a couple years ago. I'm pretty sure uh, Mother's Basement made a video, like a probably like a 15 minute video, 20 minute video, talking about how that movie bombed. I mean, basically the only thing that they're going to really get hate for, because we don't know the cast, there's a chance that they might get some hate for whitewashing, but it depends on who they got. Really, regardless, I seriously hope this is going to be good. You heard it here first. This Cowboy Bebop live-action TV series will be the first really good anime series. Now to dive in really into the main topic of this video, which is the Ava announcement. I want to delve into it for a couple of reasons, because uh, if you ask me... <laughs> I feel like I'm in a pretty good position to talk about this show, considering that I've made five videos about it. Also, shameless plug, all five videos are in the description. And that I also know a little bit of uh, history when it comes not only to how the show was made, but everything that happened afterwards, and I'm actually going to bring a, bring a little bit to you guys in this video. So the first reason that I want to talk about regarding this show is that, uh, that people can now watch this show legally for the first time in about 10 years. Uh, for old fans of the show, you know exactly what I'm talking about as uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion, the dub, was licensed by a company known as ADV Films. They have licensed it, if I remember correctly, they've licensed the series since 1997 and they've licensed the two movies since 2002, or I think that's when they were released. But regardless of that, uh, they are mostly well known for releasing what is known as the Platinum DVD sets of both uh, the TV series and the two movies back around 2004, 2005. And basically, Ava was just like every other anime series until ADV Films shut down in 2009, making it the final time that it was ever released legally. And, and a lot of people, just like me, who wanted to watch Evangelion had to do it illegally. From the words of a friend, uh, watch it illegally like a man. Oh, yeah. Speaking of ADV Films, Netflix uh, didn't announce yet if they were going to be premiering the sub or the ADV Films dub uh, for both the TV series and the movies, which means that there's a chance that you know, ADV films might get nothing out of this, uh, even though that this whole situation is regarding them, even though they were the final people to license the show and movies. And it is my belief that two things will happen because that Netflix announced the series and, you know, eventually will premiere in the spring of 2019. The first one is that because it is now on Netflix and basically everyone I know uses Netflix, it's going to be introduced to a wider audience of fans who will fall in love with the show and will be recruited into the oldest waifu war imaginable between Rei, Asuka, 
and the one I'm worshipping, Masato, making this show break out of its shell of just being a show that diehard anime fans and Ava meme accounts like, possibly making this show more popular than it ever has been. And the second reason is that this also uh, means that there's a possible chance that Netflix may have the upper hand for the time being when it comes to anime streaming against other streaming services like Crunchyroll. Again, leading to possibly loads of new fans of the series due to the large amount of people that were talking about this show on social media. And while there were some people praising Evangelion because it's going to be on Netflix and because it's going to be streaming again, giving them an excuse to talk about it on public, uh, there was also some people who were bashing Crunchyroll because they didn't get the rights quick enough before Netflix did. Alright, so first I'm going to talk about my opinion on the first reason, which is that you know more people are going to be watching the show. Uh, first off, if you ask me, I'm beyond thrilled that Ava is getting some mainstream attention. It still stays as one of my all-time favorite shows, and I'll gladly talk with anybody about it if they want to. But the problem with that is that very few people know about the show. But now that it's got a lot of people's attention and will again in the spring of 2019, it again will possibly reach an unbelievable amount of popularity, just like when it did when it first came out. Hell, I just saw Jack Septicai tweet about Evangelion not too long ago, and that had to have reached hundreds of thousands of people alone. So, you know, you know it's getting a lot of attention when a certain big creator, especially on this platform like Jack Septicai, is talking about this show. And second off, it would only add fuel to the fire again. Uh, in terms of the almighty waifu wars in which, and this ha and this happens for everyone who watches it, that they are recruited and they have to worship one of the three main female characters in Evangelion. Uh, there is Rei Ayanami, everyone's favorite brick wall. Uh, there is Asuka Soryu Langley, uh, which I want to say a lot of stuff about her, but I can't do that because I want to keep this video up. And the almighty greatest waifu ever, Masato Kataragi, don't at me. Actually, just kidding. At me. Just, you know, quote me on that. That is the best girl right there. And soon enough, when the show is going to get very popular, someone is eventually going to be making a waifu recruitment video on YouTube regarding these three, just so they can have the upper hand in this endless war. And my take on the second reason regarding the, the future of anime streaming and all the people who are bashing Crunchyroll for not picking up Ava before Netflix did, uh, to which I say... Even though 2018 has easily been Crunchyroll's worst year on record, they shouldn't get shit for this. Sure, they got themselves into, into some deep shit from the anime community when it came to High Dive replacing Funimation and all that High Guardian Spice feminist Tumblr bullshit, but you're basically beating a dead horse, horse at this point. It, it's not worth it. Now about the future of anime streaming after this acquisition, and it applies to both Evangelion and in some cases, the live action Cowboy Bebop series. If we just look at the comparison between uh, Netflix and Crunchyroll in just this calendar year alone, it's pretty clear who has the advantage. Uh, since the start of this calendar year, Netflix has released shows that have become monster hits either from the past or from the present, shows such as Kill and Kill, Seven Deadly Sins, Sword Art Online, uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, and even new shows like Devilman Crybaby, Agretsuko, and more recently Castlevania, which I have just been hearing nothing but praise about. My point is, is while Crunchyroll is releasing new shows every season, with an even chance, a 50% chance of being the next best thing, or being the next big flop, Netflix is basically going towards shows that have a high dedicated fan base, while having possibly one eighth the quantity of shows that Crunchyroll has, proving that Netflix is looking over quality over quantity, and these additions to their arsenal prove that. In other words, Netflix getting Ava and the live action Cowboy Bebop overall is a huge win, we all know that, while for Crunchyroll, being the million dollar company that they are, they're probably not going to do anything about it. I mean, again, they got a lot of other stuff on the way to worry about. I'm, I'm just trying to put out this mess before it becomes something worse. It's Crunchyroll should not be getting shit for this. I mean, sure, I can see why they should, but in this case, leave them the hell alone. Thank you guys for watching this video. Again, this was uh, something new that I'm trying on this channel. Uh, if you like it, hit the like button down below and the subscribe button. And I'm going to pull the Phil DeFranco here. I want to hear your opinion about Ava going on Netflix and the live action Cowboy Bebop going on Netflix too, as well as any more topics that you'd like for me to talk about down in the comments below. I'd really like to hear it. And once again, guys, my name is Payne. See you in the next video.